I'm just gonna put this in front of the camera to have something to look at. So I've been filming a few videos today. It keeps like going in and out. So I have to keep stopping the camera and getting drinks and all this other crap. So you guys are gonna think I'm nuts, but what I have done is we just did a, what is that noise? Oh my gosh, okay. The dog wasn't wanting to go outside. I hate leaving him out there for too long because it's so hot. So I'll probably have to turn this off. He's only been out there for like 30 seconds. So I'll probably have to turn this off and go let him in in like two minutes. I don't like leaving him out in the heat at all. Go do your business and then come back inside. So you guys are gonna think I'm nuts, but I have pulled aside some wax that is fall themed or that I'm going to be warming in the fall. I was cleaning out my collection I was like, you know what, this is a good time to kind of clear out some of the things that I'm going to be wanting to warm come September. And I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for this fall weather. I have already thought about decorating my house for Halloween in like, I don't know, maybe September 1st at the end of, end of August. I know that sounds nutty and completely crazy, but last year I did not decorate for Halloween at all. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't, you know, I don't know, I was in a bad place, I guess. I'm not really sure. So I've started pulling out <clears throat> fall things and I do have some Christmas things as well. I just figured I'd start a bin. That way I can kind of, like I was really trying to organize. I was When I was doing my stash collection, I noticed that I could have been a little bit more organized with my stuff. So I really just started pulling things out and really like getting it like super neat. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this first one here. Also, the good, uh, I think it's good to do these kind of videos right now because a lot of the fall wax is gonna be starting to show up on websites and stuff. So I thought this would be a good like show and tell type thing as well. This first one is from the Bathing Garden. This is Faded Opulence. I've had this one for many years. I've, you know, warmed through several clams and I actually believe I have, yeah, I have a second clam of this one here. So I'll just set that there, but it's a really very pretty clam. This is like a cola and dang it all. I, and I don't have scent descriptions for this, but this is like mostly a cola. Oh, and I think it has clove. It has some sort of spice in there. This one smells really good on uh, warm. I really love the way this one smells warming. I warmed it uh, last a couple of, um, a couple of Halloweens ago and I really liked it. So let's just stick with the bathing garden here for a minute. This is Fairy Bonfire and I don't know that I've warmed this one before. This one's really gorgeous as well inside. I love the color of the wax. It's kind of like this gray, blue gray. It's really pretty. Yes, yeah, so this is like a marshmallow fireside sort of kind of heavier on the fire side than some of the other marshmallow fire sides that I've smelled before but this one's really nice that one will be good for Halloween time for sure this is another favorite that I've had as well and I've warmed through one of these sugar and spice pumpkin bread you're gonna be seeing, seeing a lot of things that I I enjoy and that I've repurchased so this also could be a good way to say hey you know if I think that I might like that scent this is something that she's repurchased so the Faded Opulence, also the one that I talked about, had a great throw. Oh, and the Sugar and Spice Pumpkin Bread is so good. I hope she brings this one back. Also, the clam is equally as beautiful. I love, like, look at how gorgeous that pumpkin is. That is like, I would love that in a nail polish. Mm, this one is just like, you get bready notes. So if you don't like bread notes, I know Angie, you don't like bread notes, so I don't think you'd like this one. But it's just got the, it's like a pumpkin bread, but it's not overly he heavy on pumpkin. It's just good. I really like this one. This one, uh, I think I had two. And I think I warmed one last year because I just couldn't, I couldn't hold out anymore. I heard somebody talk about Lake Providence Lodge. I don't remember whose warm review it was, but they were saying that their, her wax wasn't lasting as long as I thought, so I thought I should pull out some Lake Providence Lodge and get to warming some of it. Uh, this is Tree Line Trail, so obviously it's gonna sit for a few months more. 
still sp smells strong in the bag. This is just a really good, not overly pine, but mm, this is just not too strong on pine, but it really does smell like you're walking through pine trees, but it's not overly pine. So that one's a great one. I love that one. Also from Lake Providence Lodge, I pulled out Apple Orchard. I thought this is perfect for fall as well. Yeah, this one is just your typical like apple mold cider type thing. All those hers is maybe not so much of a mold. Well, yeah, it is kind of, it's kind of a spicy apple, I guess. That would be a good way to describe that one. Okay, Lake Providence Lodge again. Caramel pears. Now this is just the start of this box. I didn't go through everything. This is just kind of my start. Caramel pears is really good for fall because it's kind of reminds you of like Christmas, you know, like when you eat really sweet things. This is like a really sugar, sugared pear. It's more like this is a caramel I can handle. I can't handle caramel most of the time. This one is just so soft and sweet. I love that one. That one's great. Okay. Try to move a little bit faster here from front porch. I have gingerbread cheesecake. This one I've had for a while. This one, all of these should be really well cured and ready to go. This one, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I'm not getting like over gingerbread, like a strong gingerbread, but I can smell cheesecake. So, um, also from, from front porch is Christmas cookies eggnog eggnog peppermint eggnog noel this is perfect for christmas but i'll warm it in the fall as well i don't it doesn't really matter yeah this one's heavy on the peppermint i can smell some other things going on this one's nose clearing i can feel this one kind of like going down my throat a little bit so there's that let's push these back a little bit here also, I have vanilla nutmeg eggnog. You know, I've, I'm trying to think who has like the best eggnog scent. And my favorite eggnog scent is from a vendor that I won't buy, for, buy from anymore. So I'm not really sure. I have to, I'm going to need to find another eggnog scent from someone. So uh, farmhouse spice cider vanilla eggnog. I just have one grubby tart in that. Let me smell front porches and see if I can. <coughs> Excuse me. Hers is pretty good from what I can tell, but this is mixed with something, so it's hard to tell. I swear I had just a regular eggnog from her, and I think it was pretty similar to the one that I did like that I won't buy from anymore. Um, Haley's Heavenly Scents. I really need to dig into Haley's Heavenly Scents and get to warming some of that stuff. I have a ton of her stuff. So Mrs. Claus Cheesecake. I love her Mrs. Claus scent. Oh, this one smells good. I forgot how much I love. Mmm, that one's really, really good. I forgot how much I love her Mrs. Claus scent. I don't know how to describe it, but I, I feel like I've had it in something else. Like a, She makes like a ton of different variations of scents. So like there's probably like a pink Mrs. Claus. Maybe a peppermint Mrs. Claus, Mrs. Mrs. Claus mixed with, you know, everything. Two really old things that I've had forever, and they kind of look a little rough, but I mean, they're fine. Vintage Chic Scents, I have Autumn in Salem, and you can tell how old that bad boy is. And Dracula, which is from August of 2014. Wow, I can't believe how old this is. I feel like with VCS though, the longer the cure, the better. I can't remember what Dracula is, but I liked it so much I traded with somebody for a for this big old bag. So I've just got it in one, in one of these uh, polypropylene bags and I've just been really lazy and just wrote in Sharpie on there. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really remember what the scent is. It smells almost like a, I don't know, I might have to look up the scent description and see what that is. Autumn in Salem is, I feel like both of these have cinnamon in them, but they're not, 
There's something cinnamon sweet happening in here. I'll have to look it up and see. Just really good fall uh, blends though. Okay, let's keep this moving along here. Cookie baking at mom's. I've got one coin left in this. I warmed through the other two coins. Previously, this one, oh, I'm not even gonna talk about this. So this is just a big coin that I switched with somebody. Uh, dang, I wish I knew what that was. It smells good. What else? Uh, we have some Haley's Heavenly Scents. I have Toasted Apple Pazelle. Of course, that would be perfect for fall and pumpkin cupcake. Here is another mold cider. Yeah, that one smells a little bit different than the apple orchard from Lake Providence Lodge. Okay, from Rainbow Melts, I have some of my favorite Halloween blends. They're all going to laugh at you, which is zucchini pumpkin bread, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and vanilla bean noel. She did these cute pumpkins. This one, oh, smells so delicious. I freaking love this one. I don't remember if I, I, I don't know if I have two of these or what. I know I got multiples of some of these. I think maybe I was only able to grab one, but that one is a delicious blend. Okay, I had to grab the dog, but Crystal does some amazing fall themed scents. I really love hers. Uh, Wicked Bliss is another one that I grabbed last year. This is zucchini, pumpkin, pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and butter brickle. And she does these really cute, I mean, she always does really well on her, on like the cuteness factor. This one is pretty strong on zucchini, but everything else in there, it's not a strong, actually it's not a very strong zucchini. I mean, you can smell it in there, but it's, it's uh, tempered down by the rest of the scents in there. But this one is really, really good. I would go for this one again. This one is probably my favorite so far right now from Rainbow Melts. Uh, let's see what else I have. Oh, North Pole Bakery. I've actually worn this one before. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, butter brickle, waffle cone, and gingerbread. I wore this last year because I, I remember I had two. She puts on here, Bakery Heaven. Yeah, I have to say that's pretty accurate. I mean, it's just a very good bakery. I do have pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works and I, I don't smell uh, it that much in here if you're afraid of that. It's just kind of, there's not, none of those notes really stand out that much to me, to be honest. So this is Santa's Breakfast. This is another one that I had multiples of and I warmed through. Uh, eggnog cinnamon buns, French toast, and sticky maple syrup. Okay, she's got a good eggnog. Yeah, this one is nice. This is a nice... Oh, yeah, I forgot how much I like this one. This one's really good. I don't know how much of the other notes I'm getting, but I can smell that eggnog right off the get-go. That one's great. I love that one. That one's Santa's Breakfast, if you see that one pop up. This one I've had for a while, and I, to be honest, I'm kind of sick of blueberry and wildberry mousse. <laughs> So I don't really know what I'm going to mix this with or how I'm going to how I'm going to do this. But this is Berry Spooky Zucchini. This is one of the first scents that I got from her. It's not bad. This might be one that I put in my daughter's room. I don't know. I might try to mix it with something, but I'm not sure what. If you guys have any ideas on what to mix with this. I would be interested. If I could get my hands on some more like French baguette, that would probably be really good in here. Uh, there's a vendor that I love their French baguette, but I won't buy from them anymore. So I have to find another vendor that just carries straight French baguettes. Okay, here's another great one from Rainbow Melts. This is here's Johnny, caramel apple pie and candy corn. Like I said, she kills it with the uh, winter or winter Halloween scents. This one's pretty strong on the caramel apple pie. Yeah, this will be a good fall one. I don't know that it's my favorite, but if you like that kind of scent, that's for you. Like, uh, I'm not really into apples that much anymore. 
This is a um, one cookie of reindeer cookies, and this is oatmeal cookies and brown sugar pecan. I just have one of these left. This one was really good. I won this last year. Rainbow Brew. This was a sample, a secret, or no, maybe I actually purchased this one. A secret blend of warm fall fruits. Oh, and this one does smell so, so good. Mm, it's got apple in there, but it's not overly apple. That's nice. That is warm. When she says a secret blend of warm fall fruits, there is like a warmness to it. And I don't know how to describe that. It's like it's brewing over the, the fire or something. Uh, let's see. We have Buddy the Elf Diet, which is frosted sugar cookie, sweet fluffy marshmallow, and maple syrup. I've had multiples of this one as well. Smell it really fast. Yeah, this one is just good. If you like sh uh, sugar cookie, this one is great. Just really good. Okay, so we're just down to a couple more here. I have a lot of rainbow melts. I realized I went crazy um, during her. Well, actually, this one isn't technically. This one was poured 123. So this one was more of a, maybe a spring or I don't know. This is Red Delicious Apples, Sour Cream, Spice Cake, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I just thought with the apples, this one would be good for fall. This one is, yeah, this is, um, I actually do like this one quite a bit. Even though it is Macintosh Apple, there's something about this one. I think it might be that Sour Cream Spice Cake gives it just a hint of something different enough for me to like it. I don't smell Vanilla Bean Noel very strongly. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. There we go. Okay, just a couple more here. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's Christmas. I believe this was a sample though. Caramelized pralines, graham crackers, and brown sugar pecan. Oh, that one smells good. Wow, I would never think. Mm, I wouldn't think I'd like caramelized pralines, but wow. That one smells really good. She's pretty good. At, I gotta say, she's pretty good when it comes to winter and fall scents for her. I'm not a big fan of like her summer samplers and stuff because they have a lot of fruit, and I'm not really like a fruity person, so. This one's pretty basic. This is Boo Breakfast, and these are little ghosts here. There we go. Oh, you can see his eyes there. Maple pumpkin hotcakes is the scent of this one. This one is very heavy on... Oh, actually, you can smell the maple on the pumpkin. Pretty strongly and a slight bakery, which would probably have to be the hotcakes. I'll have to warm that one and see. I, I've been trying to mess with hotcake scents because I really like that scent from certain vendors. This is a sample I've had for quite a while. Uh, brown sugar, pecan, vanilla waffles. And this is just a pretty cookie that she did. Oh, this one's nice too. This one's really pretty. This is kind of a smaller sample, so I don't know, I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna warm this yet. One thing about Rainbow Mouse, I find that it does do better. Like I was warming some of her stuff in a Scentsy warmer, not a good idea. So I've been trying to warm more of her stuff in 24, or not 24, my 20 watt warmers. I have better luck. So anyway, so this is just the start of my fall basket that I'm kind of like throwing things together just to kind of clean out my stash and really just get it really super organized is what I said before, I guess. I'm repeating myself. Okay, so... Uh, I will come back probably in like a month or so and come back with the rest. I don't have much more. I need to go through my super tarts. I don't know how much Haley's Heavenly Scents I have in fall and winter. I know I have some rain, uh, not rainbow melts, super tarts that are fall themed. And I don't think I have any Tiffany's that's really fall themed. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so that's that's it. That's it. That's all I've got. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I know it's really early for this kind of video, but I just know that like the bathing garden, their next restock, I believe, is going to be fall scents. So 
you know, people are getting like geared up for Halloween. So I figured I might as well just jump on board and let's get this thing started early, you know? I don't know, I'm ready for the cooler weather already and school's about to start. So that's always prime time to like start thinking about Halloween. Halloween's my favorite holiday of all time. I just love the whole holiday. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging in there with me. I know this is kind of a longer video, but I will see you guys soon and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye guys.